So whilst video games may love to reference movies, TV show references are usually harder to find. Well, with that in mind, today I wanted to take a look at 15 of my favourite TV show easter eggs in video games. Now once again, the only rule that I've imposed on myself for this video is the one easter egg per game rule that we used in my 15 favourite movie easter eggs video I uploaded a couple of weeks ago. As always, if you think I've missed a great TV show reference in a video game, then the best places to let me know are in the comments section or on my social media media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and before we do get started, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Here's a pretty depressing fact. Did you know that two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? I mean, I'm 33, so that little piece of trivia has hit me hard. I love my hair. Well, don't start practicing your comb over just yet and check out Keeps. Keeps allows you to fight against male pattern baldness from the comfort of your own home. Simply head to www.keeps.com forward slash excellent, pick the treatment that's best for you, and sit back and relax whilst you wait for the Keeps delivery to arrive. I mean, even if you have a full head of hair, studies have shown that prevention is best when it comes to battling hair loss. So the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you could save. Oh, and that link I mentioned earlier is pretty special. For a limited time, if you head to www.keeps.com forward slash excellent, or simply click the link in the description, you receive 50% off your first order. So what are you waiting for? Head to keeps.com forward slash excellent today and keep your hair on your head. Once again, a big thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. And without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at Maneater. The self-proclaimed shark RPG was one of my favourite games of 2020. I mean, who knew being a shark could be so much fun? Well, if you can take a break from eating anything and everything that crosses your path, you can find this. There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. So this banana stand is a reference to the banana stand from the fantastic Arrested Development. The narrator's description of a recession-proof business is more than likely a nod to this scene from the show, because there is always money in the banana stand. Clearer can I say, there's always money in the banana stand! No touch, no touch. Next up is Assassin's Creed Origin, with the first of three references to Doctor Who. Now, I know the Assassin's Creed games usually strive for historical accuracy. Well, usually. Well, for the swimmers among you, you may have noticed something else that seems out of place. If you take the plunge at this location on the map, you can find this. So this is a stone replica of the TARDIS from Doctor Who. I mean, we were riding a unicorn like 30 seconds ago, so this shouldn't really surprise you. The next Doctor Who reference can be found in a game that you may not have heard of before. Contrast is a puzzle platformer released in 2013. To progress, you must solve various puzzles by switching between the real world and the shadow world. The puzzles often require you to move light sources to create shadows that will allow you to progress. It's a pretty interesting concept. The Easter egg from Contrast can be found during Act 1. Outside of the cinema, you can find this. So once again, it's the TARDIS from Doctor Who. The final Doctor Who reference comes from an unlikely source. Lego Batman 3, like the countless Lego games before it, more often than not is good old fashioned family friendly fun. However, outside of the Hall of Doom, all is not as it seems. So this statue of an angel will change its pose when you can't see it. 
is pretty creepy. This is of course a nod to the terrifying weeping angels from Doctor Who, who can only move when they're not being watched. So the next TV reference comes from the reference field Cyberpunk 2077. During the Big in Japan side mission, you have to rescue a man who is trapped inside of a refrigerator. After surviving an ambush from a local gang, you have to take the man to the specified coordinates. So just who is this man? Well, I'll let him explain. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Haryoshi? In Japan. Brain sergeant. Top of all. Good instinct. One day, Tiger Crow boss needs surgery. But both die on table. Tiger Crows were very angry. I hide in boat. Swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Tiger Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon make no mistake. So he was a world-class surgeon who killed a gang boss, though judging by his comments, this wasn't a mistake. Of course, this is a reference to the US office and this scene in particular. One day Yakuza boss need new head. I do operation, but mistake, Yakuza boss die. My big secret, I kill Yakuza boss on purpose. I could search him, so best. So whilst TV references may be quite rare in video games, one of the most referenced TV shows is Breaking Bad. Now usually developers reference Breaking Bad with a pizza on a roof, as seen in Sunset Overdrive, Cyberpunk and World of Tanks to name a few. Well this next easter egg goes one step further than that. In the strangely addictive house flipper, you can find this house. The description reads that a happily married couple lived in the house with the man being a chemistry teacher and the wife being an accountant. The inside of the house, though pretty beat up, may also look familiar. Well, if you head outside, you can find this. So this house is the exact same house where chemistry teacher Walter White and his family lived in Breaking Bad. Of course, as we've already mentioned, the pizza on the roof is a reference to this scene from the show. In 2016, Ubisoft released Far Cry Primal for the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Set in 10,000 BC, Primal ditches guns and grenades in favour of spears and clubs. Now at the time, the game was heavily criticised for reusing the Far Cry 4 map, but going back to play it for this video, there was a good game here. I'm just not sure it's a good Far Cry game, if you know what I mean. Anyway, getting back on topic, if you head to this location on the map, you can find this. <laughs> So this car belongs to Fred Flintstone from the classic cartoon show, The Flintstones. I mean, at least finding a prehistoric vehicle in prehistoric times sort of makes sense. Sort of. Up next is a reference to one of the saddest moments ever shown on TV. Like many other games featured in this video, Fallout New Vegas is full of references to films and TV, but one in particular stands out. In the Lonesome Road DLC, and as long as you have the Wild Wasteland perk, you can find this. So this fossilised dog is a reference to Seymour from Futurama. Fry told Seymour to wait for him outside of a pizza shop. Unfortunately, Fry fell into a cryogenic chamber and was frozen for a thousand years. Sadly, Seymour did wait for Fry to return, but of course, he never did. Up next is the excellent Borderlands 3. Now, with the help of fellow Easter egg hunter Garbit, I've covered well over 80 Easter eggs in Borderlands 3. So picking just the one Easter egg for this video was pretty tough. While the Easter egg I eventually chose can be found at Lectra City at the underpass. So this is Wick and Warty, an obvious reference to Rick and Morty from the TV show of the same name. 
Oh, and after dealing with Wick and Warty, you can also find this. So this is Pickle Rick from Season 3, Episode 3 of the show. The other Rick and Morty reference for this video can be found in Halo 5. On the Riptide multiplayer map, you can find this. So this really, really well hidden box is a Meeseeks box from the show. This is a Meeseeks box. Let me show you how it works. You press this. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. The next Easter egg sees are to return to Borderlands. This time it's Borderlands the pre-sequel. In a mission called Kill Meg, you can see this. Badass, lock and load. So this giant monster is a reference to the Blue Harvest Family Guy episode, where an alien version of Meg can be briefly seen whilst the family is trapped in a trash compactor. Our penultimate TV referencing easter egg can be found in Zombie Army 4 Dead War. In the shadows of Venice level you can find a room with lights hanging on the wall. On the wall opposite you can see the word brains repeatedly written. Well head back to the other wall and spell out brains by shooting the lights. So if done correctly, a nearby safe will open with an upside down doll inside. This is a reference to Stranger Things and the wall of light created by Joyce Byers to attempt to communicate with her son who was trapped in the upside down. Think of the upside down as a sort of alternate dimension. Several other items in the room are also upside down with chairs being on the ceiling and paintings also being upside down. So the final easter egg for today's video comes from the excellent Ghost Runner. During the game's first level, you can find this. So whilst this may have appeared to be a random pile of junk, the shadow that these items cast is that of Aku from Samurai Jack. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. A big thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.